chest up and catch that frame Cause beauty is my name What up y'all, African Beauty here And y'all already know if I'm hopping on camera looking like this Y'all already know what's about to go down and probably you can tell by the title what I'm about to do today. Natural hair video, in particular me straightening my natural hair. It's been over a year you guys and I, I just, just decided to do it. I try to flat iron my hair at least once a year, but this year I almost didn't do it. But considering the trip that I'm going on for New Year's and stuff, I just thought that my hair being straight would be the best for it. Plus I want to see what that lane looking like, okay? I'm gonna just take you guys through the steps with me because this, this is just unacceptable y'all. I, 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 it looks even worse in person, to be honest. Y'all see the matting, the clumping, like, this is almost, wow, you know what? I remember the date that I did my knotless braids in particular because it was the day before Vlogmas started, November 30th. My hair hasn't been washed in since November 30th. Y'all, uh, uh okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this video, but if you are new to Beauty Gang and you ain't never heard of us, sis. We don't know you've been there, but we are so glad that you found this Beauty Gang is hella stupid lit over here. If you don't believe me, go and check the comment section below and you will see multiple. Beauty Gang members vouch for the fact that we're hella Super late. But after you've done that, go hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video without further ado. <laughs> Let's get this together, okay? Because it's just unacceptable at this point. Alrighty, beauty gang. So first things first, I want to go ahead and show you guys this beast of what I call hair one more time from all angles. Now, OG beauty gang members know from my wash day routines, I like to first start by thoroughly drenching my hair. Then I decided to add a whole bunch of conditioner all over my hair before working sections because it was in such bad shape. And just a quick fun fact in case you don't don't know what to do with your hair sheddings, go ahead and toss it on your wall and just clean it up after you're all done to help prevent clogging of your drain. Now for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this process because I've done so many wash day routines on my channel. If you want a more detailed one, you can find that. But just to be clear, for wash days, I always, always, always condition slash detangle my hair first. As you saw, I first started with finger detangling and then I like to finish off with a tangle teaser and then two strand twist that section away. I continue the same exact steps and process all throughout my hair. So one more time, finger detangle, tangle teaser, then go ahead and twist it away once I'm done with that section. Once my hair is fully detangled and put into the two strand twist sections, as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out all that product. Once all the product is rinsed out, it's now time to go ahead and shampoo. I like to focus on my roots for the most part when it comes to an average wash day, but you guys are going to see in this wash day, I decided to shampoo my entire hair. As I said in the beginning of the video, it had been like over a month or about a full month since I had washed my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out now, as you guys can see, but because it's gonna be a curly to straight hair routine, my hair needs to be super clean. So I decided to go in with the shampoo again, a very soft, subtle shampoo. If you're OG Beauty Game member, I'm sure you can already guess what shampoo I'm using, but if you're not, I left all the products that I use in this video in the description box below. So after I've thoroughly rinsed out all the shampoo, I go ahead and shower. Now this is me out of the shower an hour or so later. I like to now kind of let my hair air dry in a t-shirt for a little bit whenever I plan on blow drying my hair because I've noticed it makes the process a lot easier. Now this is another part that I'm kind of gonna speed through because I've done a lot of videos also on how I like to safely blow dry my hair, but I'm gonna take you guys through these steps really quick. So as you just saw, I like to spray heat protectant spray on my section first. Then I like to use the tension method, so just pulling the ends of my hair and focusing the blow dryer on the root slash shaft then after it's fully stretched I like to go in with the comb attachment for the blow dryer and after that I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with a small tooth comb just to make sure there are no snags or tangles left behind Comment below if this happens to anybody else. So frustrating. Anyway, this is what my hair looks like more than halfway blow dried. I only have that one little section in the front left, but it's looking super full and healthy. Now again, tension method, comb attachment. And I don't think I actually use a small tooth comb for this process. I actually just decided to go in all over my hair now that I was completing the last section, making sure that it has movement, there's no tangles or anything like that. So before I even start flat ironing, y'all, this growth is insane! 
enough. I'm a little nervous. I, I don't know what to expect. I didn't even get to do wig season as long as I wanted this year. Y'all, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? All right, so now it's time to get to the juicy part that y'all are all here for. I know it shows that the flat iron was cranked up to 400. I actually ended up turning it up to 430 as I proceeded because I was like, my hair is healthy. I rarely put heat on it and it wasn't getting it as straight as I know it could. So just in case you didn't peep, I passed through each section twice. So once just with the flat iron and then the other one, I used a soft bristle brush and had the flat iron chase it and it gave me such beautiful results, you guys. As you guys can see, the movement is definitely there and it is completely bone straight. So I continued the same exact process again, one pass through with just a flat iron, second pass through with a soft bristle brush. If you do not use a soft bristle brush to flat iron your hair, I'm telling you guys right here, right now, you need to add that to your curly to straight hair routine. It made my hair super straight, crispy, like the bombest results I've ever received, honestly. I would definitely credit these results to using the soft bristle brush and also little to no product. I touch on it a little bit more towards the end of this video, so stay tuned if y'all really want the tea. Anyway, Anyway, as for the rest of this process, I'm gonna just show you guys a couple more passes through some of these sections. This pass in particular is in real time because I find myself oftentimes watching tutorials always wanting to see, okay, how fast or how slow or how long did this process really take? So that's why I decided to add that clip in there. Let me know if that's something you guys are gonna want me to continue doing for future natural hair tutorials. But anyway, this is my very last section. All right, one pass with the flat iron, second pass with the soft bristle brush. Yes. Yes, hunty, yes. Now the last thing we absolutely can't ignore are these edges, okay, gotta get them together. So all I do here, well you guys can literally see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm making sure that I get every little inch of my hair completely straight including the edges and the kitchen y'all know those are very important parts and it makes the hair look so polished and finished when you do that so this is how my edges look now after i finish flat ironing it all right beauty gang y'all do y'all see this length do y'all see this body do y'all like i'm actually shook i am shook this is the best i've ever flat iron my hair plus the longest my hair has ever been talking about a win-win oh y'all i'm feeling myself now yes see see when you look better you feel better bruh i think my hair speaks for itself you know like y'all og beauty game members know this is crazy i used to be at neck biter length then i was stuck at shoulder length and now i'm mid back length though what do y'all see that we are sitting like right here. I don't know what I'm more obsessed with, to be honest, my length or like the flow of my hair. Wow, I will definitely be flat ironing my hair this same exact way from this point forward. Literally, the less amount of products, the better. All I did was deep condition slash condition to detangle my hair, shampoo it, use heat protectant spray to blow dry it, and then I just felt like because I used heat protectant spray to blow dry it, those strands were protected, and therefore I didn't put anything else on my hair. I just flat ironed it as is. So beautiful! Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm very, very happy with this very very happy my ends they don't look great but they don't look awful because when i um blow dried my hair for the knotless braids that i did on myself earlier this month i did trim my ends i believe for it and if not that i did the hairstyle before that which was only a month different so i don't need them trimmed i could trim it up to make it a little bit more cute and aesthetic but either way that is the end of this tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys plan on using this hair straightening routine for your natural hair and if you do be sure to tag me on the gram so I can show you some love but that is all I have for you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video also be sure to tune in to my couples channel Josh and Easy. I'll leave a link in the description box below because me and Josh are traveling tomorrow for our New Year's trip so we'll be revealing where we're going and like you know showing little tidbits of what we're gonna be doing out there but yeah as for African Beauty and Beauty Gang I love you guys so so much really hope you guys enjoyed this video again please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are new because Beauty Gang I mean, <laughs> we are clearly lit, sis. And until next time, guys, bye. One time if you can't begin Clap two times cause you're on the way Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you had a long business on a day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause you